I am abundant. I am rich. I am an abundantly rich bitch. Yes, affirmations will work someday, but for now I have to take control of the existing riches that I have. What's up guys? My name is Vika and uh, welcome to my channel where I talk a lot about Notion and my Erasmus experience in France. In this video, I'm going to show you the template that has been helping me immensely in managing my finances as a student. For a really long time, I was disorganized with my money. I didn't know where it was disappearing because I thought I didn't spend that much but hell I did. So I needed something that would show me in which area of my life I can spend money and in which area my budget has already ended. A place where I can organize all of my expenses, my income and it would just calculate everything for me. Basically I created a heaven for money organization. So starting out from the dashboard it's in my favorite aesthetic ever. Old European money like Nice, Monaco, Italy. It inspires me so freaking much to work harder, manifest harder. So here's the whole template. Most of the pages from the menu are on the dashboard, so we won't be clicking on the same items. I will show you them from the dashboard. Starting from the first database, accounts. Now with this database, you ain't got no calculations to make. It's always automatically ba uh, updated based on your income and expenses that you track in the template. This number should reflect the exact same number that you have in your bank account and cash. So if they don't match, it means you slipped on some kind of expense and it's not cool if you want to know where is your money going to. Uh, so how does it work? You write in the number that you have in your balance when you first start using the template. You specify the dates related to your account and yeah, nothing else. As the time goes on and you record all of the expenses and income, the number will reflect the one on your bank account. From the original number will be subtracted the amount of expenses and added the amount of income and the updated number will be shown in this formula. Uh, this database is connected to all other databases, so I would say that it's the heart of the template. Uh, now, moving on to another heart. Yeah, I've collected many hearts as you see. I'm very proud of this database because not only it's pretty, but it also shut up tells me where I need to shut down my expenses. Like, girl, it's only mid of October and I already spent most of my budget. So this database allows you to track the budget of each, of each expense category of your life. It shows you the progress of your budget during the months, uh, whether you have the money to spend more or oops, no. So to start off, you choose a category, set a budget for it for the months, choose the level of necessity and uh, the account that you'll be making the expenses from. And you do this for every single area of your life where you plan to make expenses next month. This is the monthly overview. Uh, it shows you the total budget for the months. All of these categories added up. Uh, this number is how much you have spent this month. It is calculated from the expenses page, which I will show you later. And the last number is the sum that is left for you to spend after all the expenses. As you see, a fact, I spend way too much money on my teas. Next important database is expenses. Here you track everything you spend on. At the top of the dashboard, there are two little buttons which will help you to quickly record an expense and income. You click on it and start filling out the information. The amount, the account you use the money from, the budget category this expense belongs to, the date and the month of the expense. Each property is very important. This database is connected to the budget and the accounts databases about which I talked previously. All of the expenses are summed up and are subtracted from the monthly budget and the bank account. Now, this database adds numbers to your account. The income page. To quickly record your income, you click on the second button at the top on the, of the template and once again, you just fill it with your information. The goals page. It is a very cute database where you can see the progress of saving up for your goals. Um, you just choose a goal 
For example, a new Mac for me, because my laptop is working on its last breath. Set the goal amount and the amount you have already saved up. The formula will calculate your progress for you. How much you have already saved up uh, in percentages. All right. Next, subscriptions. Um, it's an easy database to track your subscriptions. It is especially useful if you have a lot of them and you have to cancel some of them. But you just choose the category amount, the frequency of billing, the next due date, and the status. If you want to cancel your subscription before the next billing, uh, set a notification the day before it ends in the due date. The last thing on the dashboard is a table view of the budget database. Here we looked at it as a gallery view, but here it's a table for you to better organize everything. This is the same one. And now I will show you the pages from the menu that are not on the dashboard. Income by category is that same income database, but now organized by the type of income. So if you have multiple streams of income and they all fall into the same bank account, uh, you can see here the precise numbers from each stream added up during the months. You can choose the months if you need in the filter here. The expenses by category works the same way. You see the total amount of the expenses in a certain category. We also have a debt tracking page here. Now, to be honest, I don't have any experience with debts, fortunately, so I don't know what would work best here. So if you have some ideas on how to improve this page, don't hesitate to write me in the comments. In the debts database, you track the main debts that you have. For example, this tuition fee. You set the total amount you need to pay off and the standard payment. The formula here will calculate the number of payments that you need to make based on those numbers. Uh, in the payments database, you track the regular payments that you make. You can also set notifications if you need to do them manually. And the last page is Archive. Here you can store the information from the last months. I haven't perfected the system here that would allow to save the initial view of the budget and expenses of each month. So what I do is at the end of the month, I take screenshots of the expenses and the budget overview and uh, put it in the monthly overview pages. And after that, I clear out the databases to start with the new months. I know it's not super convenient, but I'm working on it. I'm working. Now, we've come to the end of the template. Uh, thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I see all your kind comments and uh, template reviews. It always melts my heart. I'm very, very grateful. You can get this template and many others on my ko shop. I'm planning to start posting regularly there on my ko -fi. But for now, I'm active on my shop's Instagram account. You should follow me there too uh, for more notion tips and education. And don't forget about the free templates on my coffee shop. They are fire. I'll be releasing one free template a month. And the next one is coming on the 26th of October. So you should follow me there too so don't miss out. Once again, I'm overflowing with gratitude for the support I get from you guys. And uh, I hope to grow it into something beautiful and uh, worthwhile. Thank you so much for everything. Bisous